On July 8, 1957, a man's body was discovered floating face down in Buffalo Bayou in Houston, Texas. He was found where the south bank of the bayou that runs through the downtown part of Houston near the 1200 block of Carmer Street is. The man's body was deemed too decomposed for an autopsy in 1957. John Doe was estimated to have been between 25 to 40 years old, 5 foot 5 to 5 foot 7, 135 to 150 pounds, and dark brown to black hair. His eye color is unknown. There were no obvious jaw or skull fractures. There were dentures with the notation EJC 81056. He was found wearing a green slash brown striped long sleeve sport shirt with one pocket on the left upper chest, khaki pants, white cotton socks, brown shoes fastened with a strap and a buckle that were size 9A, and a brown woven belt with a cowboy style buckle. There were two combs found in his pocket. John Doe received pauper's burial in unmarked grave 5 in a county-owned cemetery. Initially, he was identified as Nolan Pruitt. There are no leads beyond this. There have been no comparisons to his case. On November 1st, 1958, a man's skeletal remains were found in a wooded area one mile east of Green's Bayou on Wallaceville Road in Harris County, Texas. He was estimated to have been 30 to 50 years old, black, and 5 foot 5. One or more limbs were not recovered, and the condition of the remains rendered any identifiable details unrecognizable. There are dentals available that show a wide gap between the medial teeth that are one-eighth of an inch in width. Many of his teeth were lost, with eight teeth remaining in the upper jaw and seven in the lower. One tooth in the upper jaw had a filling. John Doe was estimated to have died one year prior. Beyond this, there are no other leads. On December 17, 1961, a man's body was found 35 feet from Sims Bayou and heavy underbrush a quarter mile east of the foot of Manchester Street in Houston, Texas. He's estimated to have died one week prior and may have drowned during Hurricane Carla. The property that he was found on was owned by Manchester Terminal and reported to have been frequented by transients, the area that had also flooded during the hurricane. John Doe is described as having been a white middle-aged male, 50 to 60 years old, and anywhere from 5 foot 6 to 5 foot 9. He was estimated to have been 135 to 145 pounds with gray-brown hair. He was found wearing a sweatshirt, tan khaki pants, a green colored sports shirt, and no shoes. The medical examiner noted that John Doe was potentially a heavy drinker with arthritis in his lower back on top of having been found in an area frequented by homeless people. Despite having clothes on when found, his remains were not recognizable. There has only been one comparison to his case, that being of William Paul Scott, having also been from Texas. He has, of course, been excluded. On June 11, 1964, a torso of a man was found on the side of the road of FM 359 at Jones Creek Bridge in Richmond, Texas. He is estimated to have died one day before, and the state of his remains were unrecognizable. The cause of his death is unknown. John Doe was estimated to have been between 40 to 60 years old, white, 170 to 180 pounds, with dark brown to black hair. He had a light olive complexion with potentially type O blood. He suffered from pleurisy, which would have caused a cough and chest pain. There were no limbs or head recovered. There have been three comparisons to his case, being Fred Meyer from Texas, the second was Robert Owen McDonnell, and then Ben Frank Oliver, who were both from Texas. These people have been excluded. On November 12, 1965, a man's body was found on a north side bank of the ship channel in the Turning Basin shortly after the channel had been dredged in Houston. He was estimated to have died three days before with his remains unrecognizable. 
The cause of death was deemed to have been an accidental drowning. John Doe was estimated to have been between 40 to 65 years of age, black, 136 pounds, and 5 foot 6. He had short black kinky hair and a 1 centimeter skin tag on the medial side of the left knee. He was uncircumcised and had a calcified aortic valvular disease. Dentals are available with natural teeth, but many were missing, and the ones present were in a poor state of repair. On January 6, 1967, a body was found in Canton, Texas. The victim was found with large blunt injuries to the back of the skull and one or more limbs not recovered. His body was a complete skeleton. John Doe is listed as having been between 40 to 66 years old, white, 5 foot 9, but had an unestimated weight. His hair color and eye color are unknown. He had a healed fracture on the distal portion of his left fibula and a partially ossified ligament on the mid shaft of the right femur. The only clothing found on him were socks and underwear. There has been one comparison to his case, a John Doe from Tarrant County, Texas, but he has been excluded. On December 23, 1969, a man found in an abandoned house on 1805 Fletcher Street in Houston by neighbors. He was estimated to have died one day before. John Doe was estimated to have been 44 to 54 years old was black, 175 pounds, with black hair and brown eyes. He also had a mustache and a goatee. There are fingerprints available for him. Joe's body had skin discoloration on the abdomen, described as having been six inches on the left side. John Doe, or really more Joe, was only known as Joe, and he seemed to have lived in the abandoned house. He had on a sweater, pants, a coat, with a pouch of tobacco, and 12 cents in change. Joe's cause of death was determined to have been artiosclerotic heart disease. Despite being described as having a recognizable face, there are no images of Joe Doe, at least from what I saw on NamUs. There have also been no comparisons to his case. On April 4, 1970, a male body was found in high weeds in the 7,000 block of Clinton by railroad officers. The body was but skeletal remains found near a rusty blue wagon. It has been stated that John Doe has been seen for some time in that area with the wagon, though his name was unknown. John Doe is described as having been a white male that was estimated to have been between 49 to 69 years old. He's estimated to have been five foot eight with an estimated weight, though Namus does not state what the estimate could be. His hair is described as having been gray or partially gray, with his facial hair as gray with a partial red tinge. His eye color is unknown. John Doe was found with a heavy cotton sweatshirt, a cotton dress shirt with a national shirt shop brand, and a lightweight jacket with elastic cuffs along with a military-type field jacket, a heavy dark jacket, three pairs of pants, and heavy work boots. Nama states that these were all on his body, though personally I am unsure how one person could wear this many clothes, unless maybe, just maybe, he was very, very thin. On his body was a Houston Chronicle with ads dated at November 30th, 1969. Black boots are also said to have been on his body. Near John Doe was a blue long-sleeved shirt, a pennies, also known as J.C. Pennies, town craft size small, which was 14 to 14.5, army type green cloth belt, and a brown hat. I assume that this John Doe was homeless. He was also carrying a can of tooth powder, razor blades, matches, twine, and two rags. It seems that dentals are available, with his jaw containing incisors and canines, or at least their empty sockets, and the second or third molar. The remaining molars and premolars had been removed at some time in the remote past. The bone was well healed and smooth. It 
was stated that he had severe lipping of the vertebral bodies, aka bone spurs. On May 25, 1970, a man was found floating within the bayou in Houston, Texas, partially decomposed. He was found with trauma to the head, though all parts of his body were recovered, and he had a recognizable face. His hair color is unknown, though he had stubble of a graying beard over his cheek and chin. John Doe was estimated to have been between 45 to 65 years old, white, 5 foot 4, and 147 pounds with brown eyes. He was estimated to have died one week prior to discovery. He had a transverse scar in the lower right quadrant with old suture marks that were 3 in inches in length. He has dentals with teeth 15, 16, and 32 marked as not present. Teeth 8 and 9 had a black stain on the mesolingual area. His teeth were described as having been natural with no fillings or restorations. John Doe was found what seems to be wearing gray pants. There have been no comparisons to his case. On July 1st, 1971, a man was found in the San Jacinto River near Lynchburg Crossing in Harris County. John Doe was estimated to have been 30 to 50 years old, white, 6 foot 3, and 140 pounds. Despite all parts being recovered, he did not have a recognizable face due to decomposition. He had brown hair, but his eye color is unknown. John Doe is described as having been clad in blue jeans, a leather belt, and white jockey-type shorts only. There have been no comparisons to his case. Dentals are available, with Tooth 9 having had a root canal, filling with a silver point extending one millimeter beyond the apex. There is also a gold full jacket crown with an acrylic lobule face, a two millimeter diastema between teeth 12 and 11. John Doe had a keychain with five keys and $2.47 in his pocket. His death is considered an accidental drowning.